Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. So in today's little video, what we're going to be doing is running a non-surf in Parrot OS. So pretty much what this application does, it allows you to browse the internet and the websites anonymously. And so say for example, you want to do some online banking. It's like a Tor, it's like a VPN connection. And if you don't know what Tor browser is or Tor, it's the onion router. It's pretty much a, a proxy of different routers on the internet. Um, and I'm gonna show you, you know, we're gonna see what our new IP is when we actually are on the Tor network. And I'll show you a little bit about it and we'll verify where that location is. And I have like a video, I'll put it in here somewhere, it's in my list about IP location, how to track IP locations. If you have some kind of need to or any reconnaissance you need to do or any kind of information gathering you would use that application ip location it's just a python script you can get right from github you clone the repository you run it sudo python3 track.py and it's a very simple application to use i have it on on my list you can go check it out but in this video what we're going to do is um, learn how to browse the browse the internet anonymously all right fair enough so what we'll do really quick, we'll, um, we'll get a few things going. Uh, let's, uh, let's open up two windows. And first thing I'll make this a little bigger, both of them. Whoops. Okay. So the one on the, the right, I guess, I'll just do really quick. I will actually do sudo space su. So this is going to get me into the root user, the super user, so I don't have to keep on doing sudo, etc., etc. So what I want to do really quick, I always like to do an app get update just to see if there's any updates out there. Um, it's usually very quick. Here we go. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to do an if config really quick, and we'll see some of my um, IP information. Let's just uh, make this a little smaller. It's it's fine. So ETH zero, this is, this is my local information. Um, this is all my LAN information. So, and over here, what we'll do is, uh, I didn't want to do that. So what we'll do here is do an LS. See in here, I already have the IP location application installed. So what I'll do is I'll CD into that. And I want to actually do sudo su on here. So, and now if I do an ls, we'll see the track.py. So if I just do python3 track.py, oh, so I guess I don't have to run it as root, sudo, sudo python3 track. Um, what's going on here? Is it just, let me see something, sudo py python track. All right, so it's not Python 3. So in here, we're gonna put the IP. Say for example, we'll just do 8.8.8.8, right? That's Google. I think I, you know, I showed you this in another video. So now what we can do here, we can just make this a little larger. We can take this URL, copy it. We can go to the internet. Obviously, I'm pretty sure I can hit the internet, yeah. And then we can just open up any uh, any browser that you use and just paste that in. And I'll show you where that, you know, obviously, you know, a proximity where that data center is. All right. So we'll minimize all this. And let's just, uh, so what we'll do now, we'll, we'll get rolling with this application. Okay. So let's uh, clear this. We'll keep that open because we're going to be we're going to use that in a second. We'll clear this. All right. So now what we'll do is in your terminal, if you have um, if you're using Parrot, this is strictly for Parrot. If you're using Kali or any kind of distros, I think you have to install it. I don't think Anon Surf comes with it. But all you have to do is do Anon Surf and then let's just hit enter. OK, so when we hit enter here, we have options. We have start. 
We have stop, we have restart, enable boot, disable boot, status boot, change ID, status, my IP, DNS. All right, so obviously we wanna start the Tor tunnel, okay? So let's just put the up arrow and put start, okay? And now it's gonna kill, it's fine. So now we're under the Tor browser, okay? So technically right now we are if you see it up here on the right hand side, if you've seen that little thing, it says we're connected. Okay. How can we verify that? There's a few ways. Okay. So let's just clear this and get more real estate on the screen. And if we just do a non surf status, whoops, I didn't spell correctly, status, this will give us the status of everything about the tour. So you can use the um, the arrows on your keyboard, oh, like left and right, and you can see everything here, okay? So so if you go down, you can see everything with DNS. Obviously port 53 is DNS. Um, it's gonna use its loopback address. You know, if you have your local LM host file, you can modify that, but that's, that's a different subject. All right, so now if we go over we can see the Tor configuration, and we can see you know the bandwidth rate, the control ports, um, cookie authentication. Everything on here is is pretty much hidden service. So if we go over, this is the circuits, the connections that we're going through in order to browse the Tor browser. Okay, so like all these are FA. I'm guessing that's France, CA is maybe Canada. I'm not very good with this D, maybe Denmark, I don't know. We, we can always Google that. But you can see the connections of the, um, of the circuits, okay? So let's just do a control C out of here, okay? So what we'll do now is we'll go up arrow and put, um, let's just hit this again, I think it's my IP, yeah. So let's do my IP, okay? This is gonna show us the IP, all right? So obviously we can copy this, Okay, copy. And now we'll go back to here and we'll do, we'll track that IP. Let's just paste it here, hit enter. And it'll give us an idea where that is. Okay, UK, London. Okay, so obviously I'm in the US, right? So I'm not in London. So right now we're under the Tor browser. As you can see, this is the IP address. So when we're browsing on the internet, if we go to google.com, we're, we're browsing to, obviously this is in a different language. So if we do um, ipcal.com, that'll show us the public IP address that we're browsing under. See, we're 51.195. It may change all the time as you've seen on the circuits. So what we can do is go back into our um, command we can run this application again. We can put the different IP. And it's probably gonna be in the same room of area because, you know, from the IP here, 51.195, 51.195, the third octet is different and the fourth one is different. But, you know, you get the idea. And this is pretty much how you browse the internet anonymously, right? Like so now if you're gonna to go to, I don't know, um, let's go to Google again. A lot of people in the security world use ProtonMail, right? So obviously I'm not a robot and fire hydrants, verify. I hate these things, but um, you get the idea. I don't want to be fighting with this right now. Let's try it one more time. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to fight with this thing right now, but you get the idea. And so Pretty much that's how you browse the internet anonymously and you can go ahead and try it for yourself. If you have any questions, just let me know. Now, what we can do really quick, obviously I'm gonna get off the Tor browser and if you wanna say, for example, you say, okay, I don't want it, you know, I wanna kill the, the, the service. So you just do the up arrow, it's very simple. If you see right here, it's stop. It stops the non surf and, and you know to the clear net. So stop. And now we stop. We can hit no here. Now it's back to normal. So now if we hit status, non surf is not running. Okay. 
perfect. So that's pretty much, I'm not gonna refresh this because I don't wanna give my public IP out. But yeah, you get the idea. So that's pretty much how you browse the internet anonymously. It's very simple and it's very quick to do if you have Parrot OS, and I'm running Parrot OS 4.10. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, hit me up on my social media, leave a comment below. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and until next time, have a good day. Cheers, guys.